Navigating through the tricky waters of dating and relationships while sustaining a positive mindset can be challenging. In a world dominated by social media, ever-growing sexual desires and underlining insecurities, as founder of Lipstick Stain Passport, I'm on a mission to expose and identify the core principles and bitter truths of the dating world. Travel through the highs and lows with me, Robert Van Tromp, as I highlight and discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly. So Tabs, I feel like we haven't seen that much of one another. I know, uh, since You've been hiding from me. Since leaving the show. I must have been. You do make me nervous. <laughs> Am I making you nervous, Rob? <laughs> Am I making you nervous, Rob? <laughs> Wait, no, what's that from? That's from um, Austin Powers, and it's not the do word nervous. It's <laughs> do I make you nervous? <laughs> Am I okay. making you nervous? So, um, too hard to handle. Obviously, you know, it's what seems like a long, long time ago now. Um, yes. We obviously all went in there, I think, well, I say we all thought it was... Uh, we all thought it was parties in paradise, but yeah. probably some of us didn't. Um, were you one of those ones where kind of, you were not sure, maybe you were? Yeah. Do you know what? I I was I was sold it was to what's handle. And then obviously going out there um, and then having to quarantine for that amount of time. And then when they started wearing all the hats and t-shirts with parties in paradise I was, I was like oh my god I've got it so wrong I was like I'm genuinely going on a show called parties in paradise like this is going to be awful <laughs> I, was, I was like get me out of here Love Island where are you at honestly I was like that, that, the night like parties in paradise I was like that sounds like the cringiest thing ever so as soon as I saw that I was like brilliant what have I signed myself up for but no it turned out it turned out it was that so I was pleased well pleased <laughs> I don't know it was, it was a roller coaster of emotions honestly yeah, and I think it, I think it's, it's probably fair to say um, from you actually arriving, which by the way, the whole jet jet ski arrival yeah. was very entertaining, yeah, and I happy. think a lot of people were like, "Who is she?" I was happy about that arrival when they yeah. told me that flare in one hand, wasn't it, and one hand on the on the jet ski? Yeah, we was kind of indecisive of who was gonna <laughs> ride the jet ski in, and I was like getting all my practice in before I was riding around um, just before we went in for like twenty minutes. Just before we're about to go in, I flipped myself off the jet ski, soak my hair and all my makeup off and I had to redo it all in like five minutes before we went in. So I was like, Elle, you just drive and I'll just sit on the back and try and look pretty. I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> because I was like, I'm too nervous to drive. I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, what if I like can't steer properly or like... I was just overthinking. Actually, a question I've never asked you. Did you practice that? Um... <laughs> Mm. Was it just like get on the jet ski and just hope for the best? What yeah, it? pretty much actually. You know how like rough, uh, what's the word? How rushed everything is. <laughs> rough, okay. Rough. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Right, okay. All right, brain. okay. My brain. Okay, so I was going to ask you where your head's at. Um, so, <laughs> so obviously you're-, you're, you're Do you um, like it rough? <laughs> <laughs> rough? Do you like rough or yeah. intimate? That's a good question. Do you know what? I'm probably about- I feel like you're a bit of a dark horse, not going to lie. Yeah, I'm probably about 80% rough. Really? Yeah, 20% intimate. I can't look at you in the eye when you say <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, 80%. Actually, 80 is probably even just, Amy, 85. <laughs> no, it's good to have a mix, isn't there? Yeah. You don't want to be completely full bone. No. Full, full bone? Full blown. I think everyone loves a bit of intimacy and love. Yeah. That's what... It all depends about how you feel about the girl at the end of the day. Mm, that's true. Mm. If you love the girl, you want to make love yeah. to her. Yeah. If you just see her as a dirty little, uh, you um, uh, if you see, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 feminism, feminism, <laughs> retract that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends. It depends. It also depends what mood you're in. Like if yeah. you're feeling like really like ready to go, then mm. I'll want that. But if yeah. you're like more, you've had a bowl of pasta and a red wine, it's like make love to me. But if you've had sushi and a cocktail, it's like slam it in. Uh. Right, okay, we are rolling. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Just want to so, 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 so make sure that we are. Let's okay. Cut that, cut, right. cut. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. So, a uh, lot of sexual energy there, Tabs. So, kind of your presence in the house, mm. obviously, Chase. And Carly, um, 
were together for what for two weeks of the show the first two weeks they kind of they started off together you know found one another kind of had a good bond good connection shall we say and then the kind of two weeks went by and then tabitha turns up on a jet ski okay how was that for you how was how was that? Let me rephrase that question what kind of impact do you think you had and how do you think that affected those two individuals um, well, obviously coming in so late, I was like the last person to arrive with Earl and Joey. Obviously you don't really grasp what exactly has happened before that point. And I feel like a day in there is like, you hear it all the time. A day is like a month and it's like so much seemed to have happened. Like those two obviously was in, was in a, I wouldn't say in a relationship, but they, they was, a, there was a thing. Mm. Um, and yeah, I remember getting in there and Carly was so upset and I was just so confused. Like it was all just a massive whirlwind. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? And I had to get in bed with Chase. And it's like. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you had to get in bed with it. I think no one was like, oh, you know, get it, get in the no, bed. No, true, true, <laughs> true. I did make that decision. Um, but, but at the same time, had every <clears> right <throat> to make that decision. Coming in as a new girl, at the end of the day, we weren't there to, and that sounds harsh saying, we weren't there to make friends. They had an, they had an argument that day though, didn't they? Yeah. So they, they, they had, split up or something that day that was what my yes brain was telling they me. did prior to you coming in yes prior yeah. to it yeah yeah so it was already kind of over yeah so i was just there to pick up the yeah pieces. yeah <laughs> just put that that stamp on the on the letter and just send it so, super glue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and obviously um you know lots of people saw the impact of that i think watching it watching it back you know and i yeah. think even maybe for yourself and when you watch it back, seeing, I guess, how Carly reacted to it all and everyone kind of in the, in the retreat reacted to it all. Mm. How did that kind of like make you feel looking back and would you have changed anything about the experience? I always say no regrets. Mm. Like I feel like everything always happens the way it's supposed to happen. Like me going in late, there was a reason for that. Like maybe if I went in from the beginning, like I wouldn't have had, like, you know, everything happens for a reason in that sense. But I don't know. Do, obviously I didn't like seeing Carly upset. Mm. I don't like seeing anyone upset. Um, but I mean, look, if they weren't meant to be together, that's the reason why, wasn't it? That's why they're not together now. That's why she ended up with Joey. So, you know, yeah. everything, everything sort of has a, a, a good path. That was a bit of a sore subject now, I think. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. yeah. I'm not together anymore. I'm so no. out of the loop. <laughs> Honestly. Right. I'm not together okay. anymore. Am I, like, really, like, not in this world? Like, no, I'm, I don't think they're together anymore. I, don't, I think, yeah, I think. That's right. He cheated on her, didn't he? Well, uh, I, 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 well uh, you know what? I don't Let's know. Just, yes, no. I, uh, I'm just going to yeah. keep digging myself down the rabbit hole. I mean, here, just let me I? pass you over a spade. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to bury me in there as well? <laughs> okay, so obviously, like you said, obviously difficult situation yeah. um, with Chase and with Carly. Then obviously, I think everyone's, well, not every, everyone's favourite scene, but a lot of people's favourite scene was obviously the date that you had with Chase uh, towards the end. Yes, yes, that date. Where you, I think, you know... Holiday romance. Holiday romance. I think. I think it wasn't. I think it wasn't what you said. I think it was more the <laughs> the, the, the tone. <laughs> of, of, I get, I yeah. get told this a lot about yeah. my tone. I'm really um, oblivious to it sometimes. Mm. Assertive. Is it? I think so. I think I'm very passionate about mm. how I feel. Like my emotions are so intense. So when I try and speak to people, it comes across quite intense. Mm. So I do apologise. No, don't apologise to me. <laughs> <laughs> apologise to Chase. <laughs> yeah, no, look, I mean, at the end of the day, I had his best interests at, interest at heart. Yep. I could have led him on down a garden path and said, I'm going to be your girlfriend and all this and all that. But like, realistically, I was going back to London to ca ca crack on with my stuff. <laughs> He's going back to America to do his thing and NFL and like, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. So I was like, let's enjoy the moment. Let's be in yeah. the moment. Let's be like happy while we're here yeah and then we we'll go our separate ways no i think i think the the honesty and the integrity that you showed there integrity was, is, was huge honestly integrity is my biggest thing without integrity you have nothing wow <laughs> that was, what a line that was tabs well, <laughs> did you plan that one before you came in 
No, no, it's in my notes. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. No, it's not. No, I'm full of them. Uh, okay, so you are like, I think for 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 a lot of people um, across social media, you are like the self care queen. You know, I do try. You are your skincare routine second to none. You know, you are the, you are the guru, the master, and people people look up to to Tabitha wow. as. Yeah, they, I'm sure they do. You know, I mean, they, look up know to, they look up they look up to you as as kind of the the cream of the crop, should we say, when it comes to skincare oh. routines, right? So self care, obviously, an area that you are particularly passionate about. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Is there any particular reason why kind of growing up that you've put that as a, an area, a kind of a, a priority area or has that just kind of happened? Um, hmm, I don't know. Do you know. I just like doing things that make me feel good because when you feel good, like everything's just a lot better that way, isn't it? And don't get me wrong, there was, like, when I was a lot younger, like, in school, I can remember, honestly, the things I used to eat, I used to party all the time, I was always drinking, I had acne, Mm. I wasn't the healthiest, I can't remember how I got into it exactly, it was more of just, like, a process, I just started, the more uh, healthy habits and good habits and, like, looking after myself I introduced into my life, the more I wanted to do it, because it felt so good. Mm. And, like I said, you obviously put it at very high importance, is there anything that you would kind of say to, to well, I guess, you know, to those listening, <laughs> anything yeah. you would say to those listening about the importance of self-care and kind of maintaining a kind of a, a good routine, skincare, where yeah. it be kind of boosting your own self-esteem and feeling yeah. good about yourself. What's yeah. the importance of that for you? Um, I think the main importance of that, I think genuinely when I say this, like, like looking after yourself allows you to look after others so much better when you yourself are at your optimum you know level of health or happiness like if if you're unhappy if you if you're not healthy how do you expect to look after other people mm. so like when it comes to family and like i really like my family honestly i drive them up the wall because i'm constantly like come on look after yourselves like, i want you around forever like i want, <laughs> I want my mum's my grandkids and like they're like i just want you to yeah. live forever like this life is so great like come on just like enjoy it with me and, everyone <laughs> and they honestly yeah. hate me and i'm living back at home at the moment they're like oh my god get her out because i'm still looking for a house in the middle yep. but but yeah, I just think, look after yourself. You look after others better. Like, imagine you're really unhappy, moody, and then you, you're hanging out with your friends and you're like, they don't want to be with you if you're like that. Yeah. Like, you, you're just a better person when you're happier and taking care of yourself. And it's, I don't know, it's my number one hobby, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for five facials a week. No, I'm <laughs> Everyone's like, what's happening? I'm just probably getting a facial or something. No, no, no. no well, it's, it's, I, think, I think you've always got that glow about you and that brings me on to your business you know that you have and obviously you you take a lot of pride in i think and you you started that obviously at a very young age as well so the maturity Mm. level you've got kind of you've shown and and portrayed to do all that is is very very impressive thank you and do you think that has been kind of an integral part of you growing up having that business yeah maybe i mean always from a young age i always wanted to be independent and work for myself and just I always said to myself, I want to be passionate about something I do. So as soon as I found this big passion for nutrition and fitness and mm. wellness, I was like, let's create something. Let's, you know, let's do Because I don't want to get bored of something. I want to carry on, build and build and build. And you can't do that unless you're not interested in something because it will just die. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And um, you, go on, carry on. Yeah. So, and I think mental health as well was definitely a major in, uh major factor major factor and why i got into it because it's crazy how much diet can affect how you think like your gut gut health is a big thing for me i'm very into into that and that helps with your mental health okay and it kind of brings me on to talk about (coughs) the fact that way social media is set up and i'm sure being now i I mean i personally hate using the word i'm sure you're probably the same using the word influencer Mm. um but now obviously having much more of a responsibility um to people that follow you and have an interest in your day-to-day what's tabitha doing on thursday you know like 
you know, what's her weekend plans? When's she going for her next facial? That kind of thing, you know. So, so there's always there's a, obviously a genuine interest there. Um, the way in which social media is set up is designed for us to aspire to almost impress other people. Mm, to that influence, to yeah, to impress other people. How 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 can we how can we focus on impressing ourselves first and foremost prior, sorry, before actually focusing on on impressing other people? Okay, so I would say be true to yourself. I think the moment you start showing people what they think, what you think they want to see, instead of just showing people you and who you are, and what, I think the most influential thing you can do is to just be yourself. Mm. Like obviously, like don't start posting like your poo and. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, you. I think it's fair to say I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit perplexed with that. <laughs> so, I don't know where that came from either. But what I was trying. You don't want to show people like the raw, like. Oh, tr- anyway, basically, just be you. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Where did poo come from? Um, where, where are you getting that from? Where, where, I, I, I get it. I, I get it. Relate, you know, being relatable, and then you're like, oh yeah, you don't want someone to see your shit. I'm like, what is that? It's not. Is that? Is that part of it? <laughs> Can I tell you a really funny story? It's actually kind of gross. When I was younger, you know, I used to be in all these group chats when I was younger and be in these big groups of friends. Now I've got like three friends, and they're the best. But anyway, yeah. big group chat, and one day I thought it was brilliant idea to send my poo into the group chat because i was so proud of it because when you're, <laughs> you're a nutritionist you really have to look at your poo and stuff to see how you know on your gut and everything so i was like so proud of this poo i did it was so good looking i sent it in the group chat I went guys look at my poo i was deleted blocked never no one spoke to me ever again because i put that in the group chat and from that day i learned <laughs> send your poo <laughs> anyway, should we cut that out as well? God, we're gonna have nothing left at this point. <laughs> anyway, you know, I mean, I've been in situations in WhatsApp, what, what soup, what, what soup? What, I mean, I've been in situations in WhatsApp group chats where I I've sent in them. like my penis. Oh, that's, that's yeah, nice. it's similar a, shape to a poo. <laughs> Mine isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but basically, yeah, like just just in a man, like a male group chat to see what they their their oh, thoughts really? were not what, like. What not, was the, what was the verdict? Not, I, I phrased that very weird. Not to see what their thoughts are of my penis, but to actually because I, at that moment in time, I was just asking them because it was a long, it's a long story. Hey guys, what do you think <laughs> my penis today? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. My shit on your penis. I'll tell you, you shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. All right, anyway, so <laughs> well, we were okay. So <laughs> oh god. So we, we talked obviously about like you said try and impress yourself first prior to impressing other people right and i think when we try and impress ourselves first and foremost in turn we are impressing others you know it's, yeah. the, it's the whole saying of you know you shouldn't go out to try and yeah the opinions of others don't really mean anything to me at exactly all. as long as you treat yourself and are happy with what you're doing for you yeah always do things for you not others because that's how you inspire i think oh we definitely won't edit that bit out that was strong okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so talking about um, insecurities and talking about anxiety, obviously social media fuels that. And, and obviously coming on the back of a show that was very, it was global. Lots of people mm. know, or probably already knew who Tabitha was, but now even more people know who Tabitha mm. is. <laughs> now we are in a situation yeah. where more emphasis is kind of on what you're doing day to day. Have you felt that the impacts of that have been negative or only positive i mean i mean when the, when the show first aired twitter especially that was quite savage but now on instagram i get such amazing messages all the time mm. like really really nice messages how i inspire them to be the best self how you know how i've helped them like especially clients that i have from global tabitha like i get such like sometimes i just sit there if i feel down <clears throat> yeah 
I read them and it just makes me feel so grateful. That's probably sweet. Like honestly, yeah. like it really does like just fill my heart with yeah. joy. Yeah. Like genuinely. That's amazing. It, keep, I, it gets me up in the morning sometimes. You know those days when you're just like, yeah. you know, you're just down days as everyone does, normal. Mm. It really just like, it makes me feel so good. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It's almost almost like the love of other people yeah. make is keeping you. Just knowing that I'm helping people and I'm actually influencing mm. in a positive way because you can be an influencer and you can share, you know, everything, but unless you're sharing <laughs> things that yeah. are actually going to help people. That's why I wanted to share my knowledge to help people. I was like, what's the point of having a platform mm. if I've got a million followers or 300k or it doesn't matter how many followers, as long as I'm like helping people become better, do better, feel better, then I feel like I'm doing something mm. good for the world. And is there, is there any, any, uh, any times for you where you feel overwhelmed by the scenario and kind of what's happened over the last eight months or well, nine months has been now? Te- 10 months. Has it? 10 months has been. God. Crikey. Crikey. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. Um, no, you know I've, on the loved it. I've, I've honestly loved it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, well, I mean, that's, that's probably quite. I feel like I got a healthy balance. Mm. Like it wasn't too much. It wasn't too less. Like it's really just elevated my life. I'm very happy that I've done the show. Wow. That was, that was first and foremost, incredibly deep. I'm very deep. Yeah. I'm very deep. Yeah. Like, Why are you so deep? Like, just yeah. relax. No, that was no, but no, but, but but at the same time, I think that the fact that it's it's been such a positive <coughs> experience for you post show, mm. and kind of not only not is it obviously boost your profile, built a foundation for you on top of what you already had, which mm. was amazing. That you're still in such a positive mindset, I think, is fantastic. Yeah, I just feel like I'm just getting started. Like next year, I've got so many exciting things coming. Like I'm building. Like I'm totally rebuilding Globe. I'd have a like big, this at the moment I've only got two programs on their PDFs. Like this is like a whole new game I'm bringing yeah. next year. It's going to be amazing. Like I'm really excited about that. I can't say too much. Mm, podcast exclusive. You can't say too much. I can't say too much. Yeah. But good things on the horizon by yes. Globe. Tabitha. And I, I just think without obviously that stepping stone mm. of, you know, the show, then I wouldn't have been able to do any of this. It's, it's amazing. 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 Well, I mean, look, to, 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 to finish off proceedings, we have two, two, two games, okay? First game is, um, have you ever watched Squid Games? Oh my God, I loved it. You love Squid Games? Loved it. And you know that red light, green light? Green light, <laughs> green light. Green light. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just well, thought I was walking around the house saying it. Like, red light, green light. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think there's just only, just you that uh, taps. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this one is called Red flag, green flag. Red flags, I seem to love them. Uh, uh, oh, right. Um, okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> we might talk about that, though. <laughs> well, what you can do here, okay, is you can tell us about your two green flag moments, okay, and your two red flag moments that not only maybe you have um, in a previous partner or whatever it may be, or maybe as a potential partner that you would look for, what are the two green flags and the two red flags? Okay. So what, two good things, two bad. Two yeah. things I'd like be like, yep, you're the one. Mm. Two things I'd be like, go for a run. Oh my God. <sighs> wow. Where did we get this girl? I'm doing good. <laughs> Very it's good. It's my first ever podcast. <laughs> Just saying. Podcast um, virginity. Okay, two greens. So intelligence, I love that. I'm like, yes, feed me knowledge. Tell me everything you know. Like, I love intelligence. Um... And another one would be affection. I like affection. Lots and lots of affection. Like if you're not touching me, I'm annoyed. Like touch me all the time. <laughs> not sure it's that kind of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm, I'm a very touchy feely person. Yeah. Like I love being like, I love affection. And eye contact, oh, that's three. Um, <laughs> red would be someone that, you know, like doesn't ever, like constantly ask a lot of questions, but doesn't, so wants to know everything about you, but never tells them anything about them. It's like secretive type, secretive, secret, like, secret squirrels. I want to know everything about you. I'll do your birth chart right now and dissect every part of you. And if I can't, <laughs> okay, so secretive, secretive. <laughs> um, and another red flag. Quivering with fear. <laughs> okay, go. No, I'm joking. I'm really chill. <laughs> 
No, I'm so chill. I'm so chill. You know what? I've always noticed the ones that say they're chill, they ain't chill. <laughs> Go on. It's just getting worse over the years. Um, so your next red flag. Next red flag. Um. God. Do you know what? Been single this long now. Everything's just so green. Mm. Um. I know this. Why can't I think? Red flag, come on. Oh, that's a bit sexual though. When they're not uh, giving in the bedroom. I hate that. Like when they're just- Selfish. Like, it's selfish. Selfish. I hate that. I, I'm lucky I've never had that. I think because I like hate it so much, I re reflect- re <laughs> Retract? <laughs> Retract? <laughs> repel? Should we, should we do that whole bit again? <laughs> <Was> it, <laughs> repel it. Uh, repel repel it. it. You repel it. Yeah. Okay. So you repel all the- I don't like selfish people. Yeah. Don't like selfish people. Selfish and secretive. Okay. Okay. I feel and like I could have done better than that. Well, we Are can go good? again. We can go again if you want. you want. We can always edit those out. If you want to, you want to run I one again. rubbish. I think they were quite good. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to give us one more and then we could always choose? Okay. Um, so, uh, and Tabitha, now give us your second red flag. <laughs> Um, my second red flag would have to be. Oh, do you know what? I don't know. What's yours? Oh, so, okay, I'm answering now. <laughs> my red flag. Mm. People that things, lie. Oh. People that lie all the time. Yeah. My second red flag is liars. <laughs> yeah, liars. Yeah. yeah. I hate it. And like the ones where they look directly into your eye and mm. lie to you, even though you know they're lying. Yeah, even though you know. Yeah. Someone lied to me recently, actually. It's really upset. Do you want to share more insight on that or? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Very politely put. <laughs> okay. No. And just a quick one before we go on to, on to the next game. What is your relationship status at the moment, Tabs? My relationship status is um, complicated. And no, single. Bit, bit complicated, bit single, bit none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> okay. Um, so our final game, okay. Let's go. Is, as you may probably, you may already know what it is going to be. It is regarding bedroom dilemmas. Oh okay. Gosh. So every single week, normally on my own social media account, I will ask my, my followers to send in their biggest bedroom dilemmas, their biggest situations or scenarios they're facing in the bedroom, whether they be kind of well, their boyfriend, you know, current partners they're seeing, their husband, their wife, whatever it may be, okay? Now, I mentioned to my followers that we're going to have guests on and the list multiplied. Oh, we had vast amounts of, of bedroom dilemmas come in, okay? Love this. Do I need to help them? You, today, are going to be providing a summary the dilemma but then also providing your best recommendation of what you think they should do in that situation this seems very serious <laughs> oh it won't be um but i feel like i'm in squid games right now <laughs> maybe you are <laughs> red light <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, okay. A massive, I'm a massive geek. Right. Okay, so the first one, it's a good thing I remember these, by the way, because my computer's just gone. gone, oh, gone so it's a good thing I remembered them. Go on. So your first one is, my boyfriend has suggested going to sex parties. How should I be, how, how should I feel about that? Help. Taking a deep breath because this also happened to me before in my life. Wow, okay. And me being me, a very sensitive, quite loving soul that I am. You are very loving. I, okay, the, how, I didn't like it. It's not, I don't know. It's. I personally, I'm not really into that. Is, is she saying it? Then she doesn't want to do it kind of thing. She hasn't, she hasn't clarified. She's just said, this is the situation. But Look, if you're in a relationship where you're you're strong, like you're a strong couple, you know, you know each other, you see each other through and through, you know, there's no black, there's no grey areas. It's like you're you're in love, you've got each other, and you trust each other. Then 
I don't think anything bad could come from it and it could be a very fun, enjoyable experience. However, if you have any doubt at all in your relationship, if you don't feel secure, if he doesn't make you feel secure or the other way around, if there's any sense of insecurity, I don't think it would be the best idea because, I mean, I think it's quite self-explanatory, but it depends on the situation. So what you're saying is you reckon it can happen in a secure environment yeah. if they both want to do it willingly. You, if he's forcing her or if she's forcing him and like there's any any sense of force there, like don't only do something if you're comfortable with it. <clears throat> Is that a good okay. answer? No, that was a very good answer. Okay. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. The other one, um, slightly more explicit than the first one. Great. Can't wait. Um still probably not the most explicit one we've had thus far, but still right up there. I love explicit. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so oh, um gosh. <laughs> okay so the this one was a very very brief one it was thoughts on pegging pegging is that when you put a dildo or strap one on and peg your boyfriend mm. How doesn't necessarily have to be boyfriend could be a partner could be yeah one of my friends good friends of mine recently yep. experienced that done that to her partner I won't obviously mention who it is, because that would be awful of me, wouldn't it? <laughs> but, um, I mean, look. Oh, God. It's, it's pers- everything's so personal. And I don't know, like, I, pray, I wouldn't want to do that. Like, if my partner asked me to peg him, I don't think I could. On a quiet Sunday morning, you, know, you wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Like, some men like being dominated. So that would be an amazing experience for them, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, a really hot yeah. woman is going to peg me and it's going to feel amazing. Yeah. Like, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know what you're talking about. However, <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you, for example, Rob, a great candidate for pegging. Great. I'm very secure of my sexuality, and but I also do like, I mean, I like, I like, I, I obviously do like to be the dominant man, mm. but at the same time, I think. Roles reverse? Yeah, I think absolutely experiment. Mm. Yeah, you absolutely should experiment. I'm not saying I've, just to clarify, I'm not saying I've done this before. But I think... Would you? Wow, she's flipped that around on me. Uh, <laughs> um, would I do it? Yeah. Do you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably would. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Why not? Yeah. You only live once, you know? Exactly. There's no sequel at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, if they really, really, really wanted me to, and was like, this will honestly make me love you even more than I already do, I'd be like, go on then. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> you are. <laughs> but oh, wow. well, let me just add in: if I did do that, <laughs> I like I love being dominated. Like, where I, as in, like I like a more dominant man. Mm. So I thought the the thought the image of the man I look up to is the dominant man bent over with his bum cheeks spread, with his bum hole looking at me. He falls under the same category, I think, as we, we've talked about, about <laughs> off topic before, you know. Am I going off topic a bit here? No, you're not, you're not going off topic. I'm just saying, uh, in my eyes, it falls into the same category as, you know, <laughs> rimming of, of, of the guy. Oh, rimming. Like, yes, you were telling me about this before we started, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, Rob I, I, likes to be rimmed. <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> she's not wrong, but <laughs> but it's a similar, sorry, similar vibe to that, surely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, it just sounds so boring if I say this, but like, I just really don't like anything to do with bum holes. <laughs> Like, I don't know whether I've, I've suffered from IBS throughout my life and I just fucking hate the idea of anything going near my ass or me going near anyone else's ass. But like, I've got perfectly great vagina that you can put your willy into. And... Uh, uh, wait, what? No, uh, pardon? <laughs> I don't know. That it was always going to get out of, out of hand when you brought up these explicit questions. So my brain starts going... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, but no, I don't know. Look, if you want to rim him, rim him. Peg it. <laughs> <laughs> or both by the sounds of it. Okay. I don't know. Well, Tabs, I think you've very much cleared that one up. <laughs> I, think we did. I think I think you you've definitely provided a very good summary and recommendation of what to do. Um but yeah, to to finish things off, I want to say a massive 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 thank you for 
not not only bringing <laughs> not only not, not oh wow <laughs> you were starting to look at the mic day <laughs> okay but yeah thank you for sharing uh, right, so sharing a lot of insight <laughs> into uh, the podcast <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and, and, and then to answer your question yeah you do still make me nervous <laughs> okay oh, Rob, no, it's been a pleasure. thank you for having me and um and yeah i guess i will we'll, um peg soon chat soon <laughs> we'll room, chat. You, room you later <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay all right <laughs> so, all right thank you folks thank you for listening guys please rate and review the episode and then head over to my instagram to follow lipstick stain passport and then send me across your bedroom dilemmas 